heard about it many times today right right now yes now suppose a substance is given or administered to this body now having altered physiology a drug is any substance that cause a semi synthetic and sitarabin vidarabin so as for example paracetamol ibuprofen so for some time they may ask in to find out whether what you have written and i will add you in the mailing list and hello guys good morning and welcome back to medical pharma lecture once again so how is everything going on wish you are taking care of yourself and your study in this covid 19 situation so today we are going to discuss about drug and its sources which is the first lecture in this new series so this is myself sunil kumar shah and we are going to start a new series of lectures for pharmacology 1 and it is particularly for fourth semester b pharmacy student and it is also useful for those student whose syllabus include this topic okay so shall we start okay let's start so can you tell me what is drug i mean what do you mean by drug you must have heard about it many times today right right na yes uh, so tell me what do you mean by drug see many of you might have started turning pages or scratching your head just to find out the answer which you already know am i right okay so let me explain it in a way that you will make your own answer right i think that will be better okay so suppose this is a human body which is made up of various organs and tissues okay as for example we will consider heart okay now this heart is working normally right so can i say that this heart is having normal physiology am i right now suppose a substance is given or administered to this body and due to this substance heart started working in a different manner right i mean now the heart is behaving differently or functioning differently so can i say that the heart is now having altered physiology or changed physiology due to that substance given right i hope you have understood this much now sometime sometime this substance may reach to nervous system and causes various stimulation or inhibition right due to that there will be behavioral changes like uh, the person may feel an anxiety or may feel uh, excitation okay so can i say that due to this substance there is psychological changes right okay so i hope this much you have understood so it's time to summarize it so now can i say that when a substance is given or administered to our body and if it is going to cause physiological changes or psychological changes then we are going to call that substance as drug so hope you have understood this much and now you can easily define the drug am i right so let's define drug so a drug is any substance that causes physiological alteration or psychological alteration to an organism when consumed by that organism understood so is this easy now or is still a problem so i just request you to understand first and then make your own definition right okay so this is all about drug for right now now we will discuss about various sources of drug so i need your help to know from where we can get the drug right so just think about it and try to match your answer or guesses with mine okay so i will explain it one by one so first of all we can get it from plant source right like tulsi you know the tulsi leaf so from there we can get right okay the second source is animal source from animal we can get okay like antibodies then we can get it from uh, microorganism like antibiotics okay then we can also get from marine sources from sea and ocean we can get various algae which are used as a drug okay and we can also get it from mineral sources like rock and soils so if you see these all five sources they are from nature okay we are going to get it from nature so that's why we can group them in a single class that is called as natural source okay right so coming to next okay so as we know that you are pharmacist so you might have prepared various uh, drugs in laboratory right as for example preparation of paracetamol okay so you have synthesized those drug in laboratory so that is synthetic in nature that's why we call them as a synthetic source so whatever drug you are obtaining from laboratory we call them as a synthetic source okay coming to the next one 
Suppose we obtain some drug from natural sources and then we modified it in our laboratory and we made a new drug. Then we call them as a semi-synthetic because partially we have prepared them and partially we have obtained from nature. That's why we call them as a semi-synthetic. And do you know it is also called as biosynthetic. Why? Because they are obtained from biological source that is the natural source and then we are synthesizing. So that's why they are called biosynthetic. Okay, so these all are called as source of drug and uh, if there is anything missing, please mention it in comment section so that I will uh, come to know and I will also update it. Now we will define the sources of drug. So how can define? It is very very easy and simple. Okay, so the various sources from where a drug can be obtained are collectively called as sources of drug. So from wherever you are getting the drug, they are called as, they are collectively called as sources of drug. Now will classify the sources okay we have already seen the classification okay anyway we will summarize here so the first class was natural source which we have obtained from nature the second was synthetic source which we have obtained from laboratory and third one is semi-synthetic sources which we have uh, obtained from uh, natural source and modified in the laboratory okay now coming to natural sources they are further subdivided into plant source animal source, microbes, marine and mineral sources. Okay. Now we will discuss one by one. So first of all we will discuss about natural source. So what do you mean by natural source? So it is very simple that any drug which is obtained from nature is called as natural source and it include plant source. Right. So what is plant source? Means any drug which is obtained from plant kingdom is called as plant source. So can you give some examples? Yeah, alkaloid, glycoside, volatile oil, resin, tannin, etc. Can you give any name like, uh, you know, uh, morphine, codeine, they are alkaloid, glycoside like you have uh, uh, distoxin, desoxin, volatile oil like eugenol, okay. Now coming to animals, so they are obtained from animal kingdom. So can you give some example? Yes. Okay, so monoclonal, monoclonal antibodies, okay, honey, shark liver oil, which is a source of vitamin, then gelatin or hormones like erythropoietin, okay. Then the next one is microbes. So microbes means, means those drugs which we are going to obtain from microorganism that is, that will come under microbes, okay. So examples are antibiotic, especially streptomycin, penicillin, neomycin so these all are the example for drugs which is obtained from microbes the next one is marine so it means those drugs which is obtained from or we are going to get it from sea or ocean then that is called as marine source examples are citarabine vidarabine zygnotide okay now coming to mineral sources it means the drug which is obtained from rock and soils they are called as mineral source. So can you give some example? Yeah, very famous example is liquid paraffin, ferrosulfate, aluminum hydroxide, sodium bicarbonate, magnesium hydroxide, etc. Okay, now uh, we'll go to another classification that is synthetic source. So what do you mean by synthetic source? So those drug which is prepared or synthesized in the laboratory are called as synthetic source okay so can you give some examples you might have prepared a lot of uh, drugs in your laboratory especially in pharmaceutical organic chemistry okay so as for example paracetamol ibuprofen aspirin levodopa carvidopa and too many are there okay now coming to biosynthetic sources or semi synthetic sources so those drugs which we are going to obtain from natural source but we are going to modify them okay in laboratory then they are called as semi-synthetic sources as for examples any guesses yeah, there are many okay so talk paclitaxel which is anti-cancer calamine heroin chalk okay this is not that heroin which is working in a movie okay heroin is morphine codeine and heroin okay okay they will come there so they are also called as biosynthetic sources okay so don't get confused okay so uh, now we'll see some important questions so generally the question will be direct like define drug and mention various sources of drug okay for five marks 
or the question may come like enumerate sources of drug with suitable examples for five marks okay so for some time they may ask insert question like define drug with examples for one mark or two mark okay now I will tell you how to write the answer okay so what you have to do um, whenever you are writing any answer you just give a title suitable title okay like suppose they have asked what do you mean by drug then you give just title as a drug okay or if they are asking sources of drug then you give a title like source of drug okay then secondly what you have to do you whenever you are writing you give subtitles like if you are writing introduction you just mention introduction if you are writing definition you just mention definition or example separately separately so that it will be easy for an examiner to find out whether what you have written okay and thirdly you write whatever they have asked don't write extra thing or unnecessary thing okay many people have bad habit that they think that they will fill the uh, 10 page and they will get good marks no it is completely wasted okay now coming to a study material so i have already prepared the study material type pdf format so how to download these notes okay so there is two method one is uh, you can directly go to our facebook group and download okay link is given in the description section or you can send me uh, your email id and the subject name in my instagram and the link is given in description section and i will add you in the mailing list and uh, whenever i will post any video related to that particular subject you will receive the note via email okay with this we came to the end and uh, please subscribe my channel and how you feel about this video please mention this in the comment section and uh, if you have enjoyed this lecture please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much